Right, hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a hair film for you actually. I wear my hair in sort of one or two ways. Either it's smooth or it's got a slight sort of messy bend to it. And I'm going to do it smooth today because I want to go through um, a couple of the tools that I use that I've been really, really loving. Um, well, first of all, this is my Manta hairbrush. I've talked about this before. If you've got fragile hair, coloured hair, weak hair, this is a perfect groomer for you, especially when your hair's wet, because your hair's much more vulnerable when it's wet, uh, prone to breakage. Um, and we want to take care of our gorgeous luxury hair, so this is just such a nice way to groom your hair when it's wet. Um, and in fact, the hairdresser who designed this brilliant brush, uh, Mr. Tim Biddington, actually designed it for his wife, who was going through chemotherapy and wanted to have a tool that she could use to really kind of protect her vulnerable new hair growing through. So yeah, really, really lovely if you're in the market for something like that. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about my brilliant hairdryer. This is the Babyliss Hydrofusion hairdryer and I've been using this for months and months and I absolutely love it. Don't quite understand how it works, but it does. It has a, an advanced plasma technology system in it, okay, which basically hydrates your hair and eliminates frizz. I was finding that my hairdryer, which I've had for decades actually, I mean they do last, don't they, hair dryers, was just getting too hot on my hair and I've just got to be so careful with it and I'm trying to make it as, as strong as I can. Um, so I decided it was time for a change and I really love this. It's super lightweight, does a lovely job. Um, I then got in contact with them because I found that they also had a Hydrofusion air styler. So when I do it smooth, I use this ceramic barrel to really kind of smooth my hair down and it works a treat. So I just thought I'd show you. When I've um, got wet hair, I'm using a Blonde Absolute. This is from Kerastase. This is a really lovely serum. Um, it's designed especially for blonde hair. I don't know whether they've got it for sort of redheads or dark hair. I'm not absolutely sure. But for me, this serum before I dry my hair is the perfect balance of something that really kind of nurtures the hair, adds a little bit of sheen to it, but it doesn't overload it and make it heavy, sticky, oily. And trust me, I have tried so many. Um, I'm really, really enjoying this. This is actually my, my second one on the go. Right, so for this little hairdo, what I will do is I'll get my hair dryer, turn up to full speed, and I'll use the nozzle. Always be very careful to use the nozzle, nozzle in the direction you want your hair. So I do my part, and I just kind of dry it up to sort of like, probably like 85%, but just in the direction that I want it to sit, and then I'll go in with the air styler. So I don't use a brush, I just use my fingers, just to take the moisture out. like I was saying with my other hair dryer, um, again is what I like, but it dries the hair and it just stops it from being frizzy. So I just blow it either way from the part and I always try and make sure that the bits of the side of my hair always come forward. Don't ever blow dry your hair back because you want the weight of your hair to fall forward, you can always push it back. And it's always prettier to have that bulk of hair at the front of your face. If I was doing my hair more wavy, I would really throw the hair out a little bit and create sort of almost like a soft wave. It actually does come with a diffuser, but I don't use a diffuser because I don't really want my hair curly. I just want a little bit of movement in it. But for this look, I like to keep um, the hair sort of quite flat just around this area. I feel that it makes me look just a little bit um, younger, should I say. If I've got fuller hair, I tend to look older. So I tend to keep this nice and flat on my root here and then just have a little bit of texture around the sides. So I will just pin it up and show you how I do it. I do the underneath section first. Okay, I take it from underneath, root of my hair, and take it down. Let the styler do the job. So I do it that way, and then I switch round and do it the other way. And it just leaves it really smooth. Take it underneath, and I just let the dryer do the 
work forming. It creates a nice tension on the hair. Not too much, but just enough. I stop it, and then I go the other side, push it down, and change direction, and just flip it up. That means you've got both sides of the hair done. And it's just so much easier than a hair dryer. So if I'm doing my curly hair, I'll use, I'll dry it and I'll use a tong, but I was just finding that the tongs, I love that sort of tonged look, but it was just getting a little bit too much every day. So I wanted to give myself an option. And I've just found that just sort of smoothing my hair, sort of every other hair wash maybe, just sort of makes a difference to the quality of the hair and it moves and it's just quite nice that it's soft. It's just nice to have different styles as well, isn't it? So I just twist that up in the knot. It's probably not the most, um, tidiest of ways but it works for me right so I really like to brush the hair forward in that direction and then take the slice of my finger so get a nice firm section and put the hairdryer on and very slowly just let the hair taken in the brush and then on the other side really smooth it down and that to me makes all the difference. One side is not enough. There you are. And look how it moves. Oh, my hair doesn't often move like that. Let's do the other side. Pull it out and turn it round. And bring it out. Just gently guide the hair there and bring it down. See that is not finished. And then I just take it down and do it on the other side. And it smooths the hair. And because there is less heat on the hair if you're doing it quicker obviously that's less damage right love how that looks okay i'll keep on going i don't want to bore you but i'll just keep on going and uh, see what you think Um, and you sort of it takes a while to get used to the different directions just no, knowing where to put your finger um, but that is so soft and smooth and what I will do just to finish off to get the texture that I like is just to blast it a little bit just to get a bit of movement in it with my hair dryer lovely and one of my favorite finishing oils is the Vanishing Oil from Living Proof. Um, and again, for the same reasons as I like the Kerastase one, um, it gives me that nice definition, which you'll see, but it doesn't make my hair oily because as much as my hair is dry and I kind of want to keep it in the best condition, I don't want it to be oily. I just want it to be sort of separated. It feels so nice. And there we are. So it's a really simple tool to use. Once you get, once you know in your mind's eye which way to go, because when I first started, I was like, oh no, wrong way, oh no, this way. It was then really easy, but I just like the um, fact that I don't have to use a lot of heat on my hair for a long time. Um, and it just kind of smooths out the cuticle, um, making my hair just look a little bit more premium than it actually is. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. And if you want to see how I do it with the tongs, very happy to do that too. Um, let me know what tools you like to use. Um, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I hadn't replaced my hairdryer for so long. It's just one of those things that just keeps on going, but it has made a difference. Anyway, as usual, look forward to reading your comments below and I hope this has been helpful. Bye for now.